Hello, uh, this is a prophecy for non someone. Uh, I'm not sure, I can't read the name right now because I'm recording. And the screen is over the name. But uh, I, uh, you know who you are, and the name is actually on the video uh, that I upload, or will be. And so uh, you know who you are. Uh, I'll just pray uh, to uh, get a word for the Lord uh, for you. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is a personal prophecy. And if you go to the description tag underneath, uh, you can order a personal prophecy uh, from me. If you're not a Christian and you order a personal prophecy, uh, certainly uh, tell me that you're not a Christian so I can better uh, change the language in it uh, so it's more suitable for you. Uh, and uh, so if, if you are a Christian, you're watching this and you want a personal prophecy, I encourage you to request one for yourself. So, uh, so here we go. I pray, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me a word for this person, a word to encourage, lift up and bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I sense that uh, the, the Lord is going to, he has been, uh, transitioning you. It's very interesting because I'm in a transition too and uh, coming out of a transition and uh, I sort of got the new direction and so the transition may be stopped but uh, I sense that you're in the process of a uh, bit of turmoil, a bit of things being shaken up, uh, uh, misunderstandings, misdirections, uh, wrong steps, uh, wrong footing, uh, uh, unbalanced footing, no solid ground to stand on. Uh, and I sense that is where you're at at the moment and, uh, and it's uh, been uh, confusing and worrisome for you. And it's interesting that it's just been like that for me too. So I sort of understand that. Uh, the Lord is doing this because he's taking you from one area to another, just like, uh, the Israelites had to pass through the wilderness to get to the promised land. It was uncomfortable for them. It was hard. They had to be provided by God. They had no sure footing. They had no place to set down camp uh, permanently. Uh, they were, when you're traveling and you haven't got to your destination, it can be unsettling. Uh, but God's got good things for you. God's got uh, good plans for you. And, He's spoken of some of those plans in prophecies. Uh, he's spoken uh, uh, through uh, prophetic people and prophesied some pretty big things over your life. And uh, part of you uh, believes it, you know, uh, so much of you believes in these uh, big things. But uh, if they're true prophecies, uh, which they are, if, but the, the character of a true prophecy is that, uh, and a big prophecy is that, uh, you don't know, it seems impossible to carry out and do uh, what the prophecies say. <coughs> so you go through this season between when you're prophesied and, and, and when it manifests, where doubt sets in and worry sets in and how you're going to help God. And it's like where, you know, we need to pick up our, we need to pick God up and carry him to the place that he needs to be. It's like God is like dragging his feet and he needs someone to help him. And, you know, don't you know that I've got to do these things? You know, get your act together and <coughs> make these things happen. <coughs> <coughs> so we get frustrated and if it was possible, we'd help God help us. In a sense, in some ways, you're uh, in that position. Uh, you're in this uh, valley of decision, I, I hear. You know, you're, you're wondering whether to hold on to these prophecies and persist, uh, persist in what you think may be delusion. You, you know, a few people said the same thing. <laughs> Satan has you so assailed and this uh, transition has been so uncomfortable and so hard uh, for you that uh, 
you know, everything is shaken up and everything is uh, not understood and you're in this uh, precarious, that's a good word, uh, you're in this precarious position of not knowing which way is up and not knowing which way is down and not knowing whether to believe in what was prophesied. Even though uh, with your heart, in your spirit, your spirit knows that it's true. Uh, and, and even your soul, your heart and mind, uh, believe it's something that you want to do. So you sort of uh, believe in your heart and mind that it's true, but you're getting this assailed so relentlessly uh, by the enemy, saying it's all BS, it's all garbage. Uh, they're all delusions that you're believing. Isn't it interesting that uh, Satan will tell you you're in a delusion, but when you're really in a delusion, he won't tell you. <laughs> That's fascinating. That when you really are deluded, uh, Satan doesn't tell you are. Uh, but uh, when you're believing for something that's of God, he says you're deluded. Uh, he's, uh, he's pretty good. And uh, so just, uh, just because I'm a, a, a young, young, call myself young, but it's uh, exciting to call myself, uh, just because I'm a young prophet, a uh, total stranger to you, I don't know you, and uh, just because you're in doubt, uh, about uh, these things that have been said over your life. Why don't I just mention a few of them? Uh, and that would be impossible for like an ordinary person to uh, come up with the specific things that uh, you're called to do. Uh, you know, someone could guess at it and get them wrong, but uh, they could guess maybe two out of ten. Uh, uh, but they can't guess 10 out of 10. No, no stranger, unless, unless they're spiritually imbued. Like a clairvoyant could probably do 10 out of 10 if they're a very accurate clairvoyant. Uh, but it has to be supernatural to get 10 out of 10. So let's, um, let's go through, through, I mightn't go through 10, uh, but we'll mention a few. Um, it's been mentioned in prophecy that you'll appear on TV. It'll, it's been mentioned in prophecy that you'll have your own TV show. Uh, it's been mentioned in prophecy that you'll be a major speaker at conferences. It's been mentioned in prophecy that you write many books, uh, that you'll even be pro prolific. I don't know if you've even written your first book yet. Um, it's been mentioned in TV that you're going to bring world change. Uh, it's been mentioned in prophecy that you're going to be uh, very important to the world, um, very important to the world. Uh, and that's been clarified and uh, individual prophecies have said that you're going to be one of the most powerful people in the world. Um, and uh, that's one you keep really close to your chest and not one that uh, you really spread around and tell people. Um, no, but, and that's understandable because people think you're crazy when you say that. Um, uh, I don't know, we're up to five or something. Um, it's been mentioned that uh, you're going to uh, record music, uh, have albums of yourself. Um, number six, I don't know if it's been mentioned in prophecy, but uh, you, you felt that you might even start your own music label. Um, number seven, uh, feels that you're going to produce so many books that you're almost going to start your own publishing firm and Maybe it's been prophesied that you're going to publish other people's books. Uh, number eight, uh, you're going to have websites that really dominate and do well, uh, and many businesses. Uh, so uh, many websites and many businesses, number nine. Uh, number ten, uh, you're going to uh, become a, a major voice uh, in the world, and that's similar to one of the other ones. Um, and uh, But so you're going to bring change and... Uh, you're going to rise up as a voice that uh, uh, has power and authority to change things. Uh, number 11, you're going to go through many poor nations and preach. Uh, number 12, you're going to be a major charitable arm to many nations and bless many nations. Number 13, uh, you've, you, you've been told that you're going to meet with kings and presidents and prime ministers and people of power and have influence. Number 14, you're going to influence business and influence business leaders and CEOs. Uh, 
uh, number 15, you've, you've uh, been told that uh, you're, you're going to uh, bring new solutions and new creations and new inventions to the world. Uh, I feel that they won't necessarily come through you. I, I feel that many of those things will come from other people who are coming to your glory, coming to your light, uh, and they'll know you that uh, you can uh, help them. And uh, uh, number 15, Isaiah 60, is a prominent verse in your life and like a prophecy you have your whole life and you really love Isaiah 60 and you really feel it was written for you. Uh, number 16, um, you're gonna, you, you've got a love for animals and you're going to do uh, some works to help animals. Uh, number 17, uh, you're going to turn back in justice. You're going to make decisions that bring justice to the world. So there's some things. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how long this prophecy is gone. I didn't look at the time uh, when I did the prophecy, but uh, I do uh, blueprints over people's lives and they're 30-minute blueprints and they talk about uh, major things people are going to have. Most, most of the time, I do nine, nine or ten uh, things. Uh, in that one, there were 17. And rather than paying $150 for a blueprint, uh, you paid $30 for a prophecy. And uh, I essentially did a blueprint uh, over your life uh, because uh, I know what it's like to doubt. I know what it's like to go through the hard times. I know, I know what it's like to hear big things and wonder if it's ever going to happen. And uh, God wanted you to know, the Holy Spirit and your angels and the saints and heaven wanted you to know that you really are this person. You really are going to do these things. And even though this is public, they haven't got your first name on YouTube, uh, just, just know uh, I'm going to load this up as a prophecy for a friend. I'm not even going to have your first name. Uh, so it's so private. And, uh, and so you know who I'm speaking to, but no one on YouTube knows your first name and no one knows uh, who you are. And uh, you, you reach out to me. Let's talk on Zoom. Let's have a good talk about this and a, a good laugh and a good cry. And, uh, and let's uh, become strong friends and uh, walk this thing out together. If you choose, if the Holy Spirit leads you to do that, um, you've got a friend in me. And uh, God bless you and keep you. And I uh, hope uh, this uh, really uh, brought a lot of peace and joy and excitement to your life. Um, if you've been watching this and you liked it, please like it. If you've got a comment about this saying this is all garbage, uh, write your comment and I'll, I'll remove your comment and I'll block you. Uh, if you didn't like this video, press thumbs down and I'll pray for you and I'll dispatch angels to go and work on you. Um, if uh, you like this prophecy, and you want to show people what's possible and what can be prophesied through me, certainly share this, enjoy yourself, God bless you and keep you. Amen.